Okay, the main reason why we went to Ilocos is because we are commissioned for a prenup shoot. So, nag-meet up kami sa BGC around 4pm way back noong January 21st. And then, nakarating kami dun sa pagstaya namin sa Ilocos around 3am na lang halos umaga. And it's because of yung COVID protocol, nag-antigen test pa kami, tapos sa minor traffic issues. Pero nevertheless, um, winelcome pa rin kami ng owner ng place na pag namin kahit sobrang late na kami dumating. We started our shoot a bit late, siguro around 10am na or 11am kami nakapag-start. Siguro that's the earliest we could possibly start given na nakarating kami sa Ilocos around 3am kasi kailangan pa rin namin magpahinga. And then siguro one thing that caught me off guard sa shoot namin is yung time it took from us to go from one place to another kasi even pag nasa Ilocos ka na, it will still take you 30 to 45 minutes to get from one place to another. So, ang laking bawas nun sa oras namin given the constraint na we only have until 6pm to shoot kasi after 6pm, pag nag-sunset na after sunset, yung lighting condition is not optimal to shoot. So, for the first day of shoot, we started sa Graciano Scope and yung area na to has so much potential na nanghihinaya ko due to the lack of time. You could shoot sa taas ng cove, making the other side of the cove the backdrop of your shots. Then sa baba ng cove, there's a beach side. There's also a spot na may tall grasses and meron pang ibang spots na hindi na kami nakapag-explore. So for the second location of our first day of shoot, we shoot sa Kapurpurawan Rock Formation. Sobrang swerte namin kasi we are not expecting to be able to shoot sa location na to kasi sinara nila to for a while for preservation reasons. Pero sakto, nagbukas ulit sila the week na pumunta kami. Then, our last location for the day is sa Bangui Queen Mills. Buti na lang yung hinar na hair and makeup artist ng friend ko is a local dun sa area. So, pinunta niya kami on a much better location to shoot sa Bangui. Kasi we have this overlooking view ng mountains, ng windmills, ng pond, ng dagat, plus the color of the skies is very emotional. It's very scenic and it's very magical and I don't think na clips na nakuha ko would justify kung gaano kaganda yung view and it's a wrap for day 1. For day 2, we are able to start early. I think mga around 9am pa lang. Andun na kami sa location namin, sa sand dunes. Honestly, this is the most challenging location para sa akin because there's a lot of constraints. Number one, there's no object to interact with. Meaning, wala akong magamit na foreground sa mga shots ko kasi open lang yung area and sand lang yung meron. Number two, lack of movement. Nakagawa yung friend ko, so very minimal lang yung movement na kaya niyang gawin. Number three, sobrang init. So it drains a lot of energy both mentally and physically. Papayong! So, ang dami kong learnings from this location kung paano diskartihan yung mga constraints na nakita ko. Pero all in all, I was able to take some few good shots naman from this location. Then, nag-shoot kami around Pawai Church and yung seaside na nadaanan namin. And I actually like the shots that we get there. Sobrang chill lang but it shows a lot of personality. Then, for our sunset location, nag-shoot kami sa Kirino Bridge. It was nice. Sobrang last makapagbigay ng mood or feels ng sunset colors. Siguro the only challenging part in this location is yung ibang tao. Like, how do you find an angle na hindi kita ng ibang tao? It's the same problem I have sa Kapurpurawan Rock Formation. Then, nag-night shoot kami sa Kaya Crisologo sa Vigan and kami lang yung tao in that area. Kung meron mang iba, may mga dumadaan lang. So, sobrang ganda mag shoot doon sa gabi. Given na wala masyadong tourist, so I highly suggest to take advantage of this time to visit your dream destination kasi masasolo nyo yung lugar na yun. For our last day, kumain kami ng empanada sa vegan and I never expect na para pala siyang shawarma in a way na pwede siyang iulam with rice and sobrang laki niya. This is our last day sa Ilocos and chill na lang kami because we're done shooting so we just took our time and enjoy the place, buy some souvenirs and have some fun doing some funny shit sa daan. All in all, it was a very great experience. Sobrang na-amaze ako sa kindness and hospitality of the people. Especially sa Ilocos Norte from the owner kung sa kami nag-stay. And then yung pinagtanungan namin ng, ng daan. So, nag, may pupuntahan kami, hindi namin sure kung saan yung, yung daan. And tinanong namin sila 
So instead of just giving us instructions kung paano pumunta dun sa pupuntahan namin, what they did is sinamahan nila kami, nilid nila yung daan para hindi kami maligaw. To the tricycle drivers dun sa Ilocos Norte kasi gumagamit sila ng side mirror nila to check kung meron sila sasakyan sa likod. And if they see na may sasakyan sila sa likod, uh, tumatabi sila, ginagamit nila yung, yung daan sa gilid para hindi sila makapag-cost ng inconvenience. The food was really good. Siguro yung pinaka-favorite Ilocano dish na natikman ko dun sa pagpunta namin is yung Poki Poki. So it is an Ilocano eggplant dish. Um, yung, yung lugar, yung mga tourist spots doon, sobrang ganda. So, I have nothing else to say sa mga yon Siguro if there's only one thing na hindi ko nagustuhan is yung sobrang layo niya and yung tagal ng biyahe to get there. Pero, alam mo yun, yung stories na share namin inside the car, yung bonding, I really appreciate it kahit na ganun ka yung biyahe namin. To yet and them, hopefully you'll end up liking yung photos and videos that we took. I'm really grateful for the opportunity kasi this is the first prenup project na ginawa namin. It probably takes a lot of guts to hire us kasi wala pa kaming prior experience before this project. And yun, just wanna say thank you sa opportunity to to um, make your first prenup project namin with you guys. See you guys on your wedding day and good luck sa amin shooting on your wedding day. Hopefully, we could book more prenup and wedding projects. If you appreciate our work, you could inquire sa amin sa Facebook page namin. I'll link it down below. So, yun lang. Hopefully, we could, we could do more of this. And yeah, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Bye!